Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Friday, April 16th. Let's go over these trades and then we'll come back and review the week. Uh, starting with today, plus 1,221.50, so nice way to end the week. Uh, really nice day in the mighty 90s. Had four trades, all four winners. Boeing, uh, Boeing plus 159, Baidu plus 215, Twitter plus 169, and then Roku, my biggest position and biggest winner, plus 1230. Uh, pairs trade, a small loss, 124.50 in the Russell versus NASDAQ. And then on the runners, Beyond slapped me for 988. MU is a scratch for minus 15. And Piton, nice winner for plus 576. So let's go over these trades, and then we'll come back and recap the week. Starting with the mighty 90s, let's take a look at Boeing. Uh, so Boeing had this nice flush in the morning, coming into a key level. Nice, nice pop in volume. Caught this bounce here for a quick 159. Uh, Baidu plus 215. So let's take a look at Baidu. Uh, Baidu, Baidu, Baidu. Stretch this out a little bit. Uh, so Baidu uh, had this push up, broke through the highs of the day. Nice volume spike. We got short right in this area here and caught this little down move there for a plus 215. Uh, Twitter plus 169. Uh, Twitter had this nice flush down bouncing into yesterday's low. We got long here on this volume spike and caught a quick bounce in Twitter for plus 169. And then my biggest winner, Roku, uh, was was this one here. So it, was, it had this initial weakness. It bounced up, had this volume spike on that bounce. We got short right here and just caught, and I got in with some decent size there, caught this nice flush. Uh, that was about an eight-minute trade for $1,230. So love those. And then on the runners, Beyond. All right, so let's check out Beyond. Beyond, Beyond slapped me, slapped me good. Uh, I was actually pretty small in here and I was using the seven day options uh, on this one. So it moved a little bit slower, but such a massive move uh, just got, got slapped around a little bit. So had this big volume spike, it was really pushing and I didn't know what was going on. If there was news, if they just struck a new deal with some retailer or, you know, what happened. So it uh, looked like a pretty prime opportunity. Uh, so when it started to pull back, got long right here, looking for a potential continuation higher uh, but obviously that didn't happen. This thing just kind of fell apart. So I ended up just closing it out down here and just taking a loss. Uh, MU was a scratch. MU has shown some pr strong price action when it pulled back to this pivot here, got long, uh, pushed down below, but then popped right back up, uh, got out of half for a nice profit. Uh, and then it just kind of chopped, 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 chopped around. And when it started looking like it was breaking down, I ended up closing out of my last piece and just scratching the trade. So minus 15 on MU. And then Piton, a nice winner for 576. Um, Piton was a yeah, downside volume runner. So Piton was acting weak, ha had some big volume bars. Um, when, it, when we saw this one here, I was looking for a, uh, an area to get short, waited for it to bounce all the way up to yesterday's low. So got short right here, really good entry. And this thing just flushed down and ended up just getting out of my trade right there. So plus 576. So plus 1,221.50 on the day. Let me bring back the sheet and show you what we did for the week. So on the week, mighty 90s, a little over $2,300 on 11 trades. Nice win rate of over 72%. Uh, pairs trades, we only took three, all three of which were small losers. Uh, so we ended up taking a loss on our pairs trades of 485.75. And then the runners, a little under 50% win rate on these this week and a, a small loss of minus 592.50. So if we look at our summary year to date, uh, you can see now in our mighty 90s, we are up a little over 5,000 year to date. Pairs trades, almost 1,700 year to date. Runners, over 18,000 and total profit of over 25,000 on our day trades year to date. Uh, total summary going back to the end of August, Mighty 90s up over 12,000, pairs trades over 2,300, runners over 46, and we just cracked the $60,000 P&L mark uh, since we've been tracking these. So pretty cool stuff, uh, decent, you know, decent week, just, you know, it's green, plus 1,200, nothing to, uh, nothing to, better than a, stick, a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, but the other thing I've done is I've gone back and started to update my P&L by day of week. And so... 
uh, looking to get a little bit of insight if there's certain days of the week that that I trade better than others. Uh, going into this, and this is still a pretty small dan- uh, small sample size. This is 15 weeks, but uh, starting to give us a little bit of insight. Before I even did this, in my mind, I thought, okay, I think Mondays and Fridays are going to be my worst trading days. And sure enough, uh, all of all of them are green, so that's good. But um, but Monday has the lowest P and L overall so far, and Friday is the second lowest. So I was correct in those assumptions. I kind of thought you know Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday would be the best. Uh, Tuesday is actually not near as high as I thought, but uh, Wednesday and Thursday by far my best days of the week. So I may start to you know depending on how the market is acting, I may start to start to scale up my position size in those midweek days. Uh, I started to uh, a couple times in, on Tuesday, and I and then I had three losing Tuesdays in a row, and so I kind of I kind of cut back a little bit. But um, you know, it, it really depends on the price action and how I feel that day too. So definitely midweek um, are are, are kind of my three most profitable of the five days. So we'll be potentially scaling up some size. Um, I've only gone back to the first of this year to collect, to input this data. Uh, it's kind of a tedious process, so I'll, I'll eventually go back and do the rest. But going forward, these uh, days of the week, P and L will always be posted as well, <clears throat> and so we'll keep we'll continue to track that. So, I uh, hope everybody had a good week of trading. We will be streaming in the live room every day next week, so look forward to that. Having a lot of fun with you all. So we'll see you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.